All right, welcome to Elk Shape. We're gonna do a review on this uh, site that's new to me. It's not new, it's been out on the market. This is a Fast Eddy, this is not the XL. This is just your normal dovetail, so we can't adjust the length as far as how far the site is away from the riser or how close. But just first impressions, shooting with it, very solid. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple features with you guys and then um, we'll go next level on, on my next video where we'll break down how to do third access adjustment. I'll do it uh, at the archery shop and show you how we do that. So, okay, so the first thing I've noticed is this thing's pretty streamlined. It's very light as compared to, you know, older spot hog models. So very lightweight. Uh, with that, I can see that the gear is exposed. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for where I hunt. It's brush country. I can get, I, bow hunting in the back country is dirty. So getting dirt in that gear, uh, we'll see if that uh, holds up over time, but uh, this grippy dial is awesome as far as the sliding and then um, as far as the rings go on the outside, it's called a multiple ring, pretty much game changer. So your eye will adjust to different lighting so your pupil can dilate. Um, it just depends on how much light's coming in and as bow hunters the lighting's always changing maybe you're in the dark timber on elk maybe you're in a tree stand and it's the last five minutes of shooting light um, whatever the lighting is you need to be able to see through your peep through the circle and this has three different colors and i think that that's probably the best thing about this site and you can swap it out like you can screw this off And you have it's just a normal sight but this to me is a game changer screw that back on as far as adjusting your elevation and windage super easy this is a two pin so as far as getting the pin point dialed super easy process you're going to grab the package of sliders or you can use archers advantage software to get your exact sight tape, but I just used what came in the package. And so you slap on your, uh, first you sight it in for 20. Once you get your 20 dopes, you just grab the little sight tape that's what you slap it on there and you slide down until you find your 60, 60 mark. And once you get that tick, you'll line it up and there's a number on that, uh, that sight tape. Um, mine was a 22. So I just went and grabbed the, the slider tape 22 Took it off, put it on, and I got a slider out to 100, and I've already checked it. Another thing we can do is we can check with the two pins, we can check to make sure that uh, 20 hits on both pins. So we're going to dial it to 20, use your top pin, shoot, and then dial the bottom pin to 22, and I'll show you how to do that just to verify. And then back here is your third axis adjustment, so this screw and that screw, depending on um, you know, you're going to probably use a plumb bob or a door jam and then you're going to pull back and hold it different uphill or downhill and whatever your bubble's doing, you're either going to tighten one side and loosen the other until you get your third axis. If you don't know what third axis is and you plan on hunting out west, you have, i tell you what, you have to have third axis dialed or only go out with a 20 yard pin. I kid you not, like if you plan on shooting a mule deer downhill, uphill or an elk, with any you know undulation, topography, terrain, and you don't have third axis, you're doing yourself a disservice. So uh, everybody needs third axis. That's why a site company has to have that on there, or it's a game. It's just it's a it's a non-negotiable. It's a must, not a should. So on the next video, I'm going to do how to adjust this real time. We're going to go to the shop and get it dialed. The last thing I'm going to say is a lot of guys have been asking me, well, why did you switch? I I have multiple site companies that I I like. I'm just trying this out. This is going to work really good for whitetail late season, having a single pin, as well as brush country bulls where I hunt, where I'm going to have this thing set at 20. And when it's set at 20, the second pin is set at almost 40. That covers everything that I'll need. And if I'm going open country elk, I'm probably going to switch to at least a three or four or five pin slider. I I'll want multiple pins fixed because it happens fast in open country bulls. So it just depends on what tags I have next year. but if I was going to do my normal over-the-counter stuff, white tails, bear, spot and stock, usually have time to slide. Um, elk in the brush country, it's usually 20 yard shots, things like that. But if I go open country, we're going to switch. But yeah, that's, that's what's up and let's go ahead and shoot a few arrows through this.
So, we're gonna dial this to 20 on the top pin, shoot, and then we're gonna dial 20 to the bottom pin and use that bottom yellow pin and just double check our ticks. Let's do that now. Now we're going to use the bottom pin. Well, there's the group right there. I would say the First shot was at 60 off the deck, came out here, shot 20 with the top pin, then slid it to where 20 matched up with the bottom pin pointer. Matched up really well. So this is exciting for me. I think this is gonna be a really good, like the best thing about the site, I love the circle spin for the dial. That That's a great, that's a great concept. Um, everything's really well made and machined well. It's, it's durable the multiple rings on the pin is such a game changer for different lighting that's going to be huge for me um on the next video like i said we're going to do third axis so i'll show you how we do that at the archery shop um and it's super easy just you have two screws to adjust uh, you just make sure that you have a plumb bob or a door jam something level and it's going to take a few adjustments and then you got to make sure double check once you've made all your adjustments that it's still on but just mess with the sight bubbles all and uh, you have to have third access so we'll do a full video on that but again just want to recap my review of the site is i'm not sponsored i bought it it's a great site very durable lightweight i didn't get the xl i, I think those longer dovetails and can stick out a mess with your quiver attachment so i went with just your basic fast eddy and i'm really impressed i'm really impressed uh i got nothing but good things to say so i'm worried about the one thing i'm worried about is the gears being exposed we'll see if that holds up over time through the dust dirt that uh, i take these bows through so well that's my only one concern but other, everything else super streamlined legit well done spot hog